I had somebody tell me, well, you, is that all you want to talk about? You damn right, that's all I got to talk about, man. What type of person to tell me, is that all you got to talk about? You damn right. I know where I stand. Where you stand. You damn right, that's all I got to talk about. You damn right, that's all I'm talking about. Yeah, I may not have much. I may not have this. I may not have that. But guess what I got? You how about show me how was shy? What you got? My Lord rules this world. What your, who your Lord is? Who you worship? Who you praying to? Who going to save you from the nuclear warheads? I know who going to save me, Lord willing. Who going to save you, motherfucker? Yeah, and I got hatred in my heart for my people, man. Because they legendary stupid. They some dumbasses, man. They'll tell you that 1 plus 1 equals 11, man. And have you fucking almost convinced. Until you wake up to this truth, man. It says, St. Matthew chapter 15, verses, verses 8. And it reads again, it says, These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines and commandments of men. Yeah, you got that 501c3. Y'all sit in church all, day, all, all Sunday. You think that's the Sabbath. You sit in church all Sunday, and then you go home after that, and, and the Bible's still on Psalms 91. It's still on Psalms 91, man. You know, it's it's got it's got a uh, it's got a uh, it's got dirt on it. You can you can draw on it, make a smiley face on it and shit. Even through the white on the page. That's how dirty it is, man. Cuz you ain't read nothing, man. You don't even know the Lord's a killer. You know you try to tell him about uh Deuteronomy uh 32 and 39. What's that? 32. Yeah, 30 yeah. You try to tell them that the Lord's a killer, man, but they don't want to hear that. Oh, God ain't killing nobody. That's the devil. Well, then you hit him up with that. Uh, you you hit him up with the uh the Job. Whenever the, the the sons of God came before the uh the throne of the Lord and Satan came, you hit him with that, and then they fucking freak out. These people want to die so bad, man. And when people start dying, don't start crying, man. <laughs> when family members and friends start dying and dropping like flies. Don't start crying, man, because we, we try to tell you, man. And you don't want to live. You don't want to listen. Okay? This says, yeah. It says, but in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines, the, the commandments of men. Okay? That's what y'all do, man. That's what y'all do. You, you, you want to hear what you want to hear. Prophesy to us smooth things, okay? Prophesy to us smooth things. Prophesy to us deceits. You want to hear lies. You don't want to hear the truth about the Holy Scriptures. You don't want to hear that the Lord is a black man. You don't want to hear about that. Oh, why? Well, you want to save everybody. You want? You think the white man gonna be? You think you want to save everybody, man? You want the you want the Scriptures to somehow fit your uh your. How you feel about it? It ain't about how you feel. It's about you. How about Shimmy? I was shot, man. You know, I had to come out here and get this little lesson in real quick. I kind of went over my time that I wanted to get, but hey, it's the spirit, man. It's the spirit. I'm gonna go out in the highways and byways uh, downtown, Lord willing, tomorrow, man. Just get this little quick little lesson out right quick, man. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, and it's, it, and it's hatred in my heart, but it's still beautiful, and I'm still rejoicing because the Lord is coming, man. And he's doing things that He said He was gonna do. He's doing exactly what he said he's gonna do. And my, you know, sometimes, you know, hey, we, I might not have a friends, I might not have this, that, and the other, but I got the brotherhood, man. And Lord willing, the Lord increases me in this, in the faith, man, and increases me and builds me up. And that's what he's doing, man. You know, he's building brothers up, building brothers up, building his brothers up, building up his army. For that day when he comes, man, he gonna let us loose and turn us into hunters, man. And we coming for you people, man. He said, like, sparks flying. We're going to be everywhere. Shoot, 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 shoot. Tearing shit up, man. People going to be trying to hide. No, we're going to pop up on their ass that power, man. Pop up on their ass. Like, you remember me? You remember me? Then I'm going to touch him like this. Boom, a fucking puff of smoke. Then I'm going to go get the next one, man. You remember me? That's what I'm going to say. Remember me? Remember, remember that shit you said? Okay. Yep. 
Vengeance is in our hearts, man. We meditate terror, man. We meditate terror. Man, I didn't, I didn't forgot what I was at, man. <laughs> I didn't forgot what I was at. And you people don't got no fear of the Lord, man. This is uh Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 20, and it reads, Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. And what's wisdom crying without, man? The scriptures is here for you. You can go into history books. You can do all types of shit. But you people don't want to learn nothing. All you want to do is play on your Facebook and shit all day. All you want to do is get your likes all day. Worshiping different gods. All you want to do is act like the Lord don't exist. Don't teach me about the Lord. Keep him away from me. When the Lord come in the room, uh, everybody scattered like some damn roaches, man. That's why the Lord is pissed. That's why he, these things are sent. What's that? Second Edges chapter uh, 16. Scourges for amendment, man. Amendment, amendment, man. The Lord trying to, hey, he, he'll show you something. Hey, I'm about to bring this. I got the prophets on the highways and byways. Usually the prophets are a sign of something coming, man. A sign of some uh, death and destruction coming. Or a sign of some kind of reproof and rebuke. That's coming, man. And it's from the Lord. Directly from the Lord, man. But you people don't understand, man. You know? It says, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cries without. She uttereth her voice in the street. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Rap music. Simplicity, man. That shit putting spells, spells on you, man. Future, that's a witch. All these rappers and shit talking about killing their brothers, uh, fucking their uh, they, 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 they best friend's wife, committing adultery, all types of just, just simple, stupid, heathen shit, man. That's what our people love. They love that shit. They eat it up. That's why they dying. That's why. That's why these damn. That's why they dying. That's why they getting uh, all types of diseases, all types of uh, uh, inflammation, and all types of the, the curses are on them, man. They're cursed. That's why they're getting shot up, man. Gunned down in the streets. Left bloody. And then the white man or whatever who killed him, he get to go in, he get to go into custody without a without a scratch. He get one murder charge and kill ten people. One murder charge and kill ten people. Ain't that ten murder charges? Ain't that manslaughter? Ain't something what what the fuck is going on in this earth that you dumbass blacks, Latino, Native Americans don't know that you got a fucking enemy? You're stupid people, man. You're stupid fucking people, man. It says, fools hate knowledge. You hate knowledge, man. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Hate is a strong word. You fools hate knowledge. That's why you're legendary stupid. Somebody try to tell you the Lord is a black man and he try to show you in the script. Look, look, bam, 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 bam. Show you this, show this. Oh, the Lord, hey, the, the Lord killing people. Look, bam, 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 bam. Look, you better get right. You better get right. Bam, bam. Get away from me with that. Get away from me with that. Uh, uh, uh. That's why the Lord going to bring that death and destruction. Especially to you women. You know, I'm about to wrap it up, man. You know, this is basically why should you die, O house of Israel? Why do you want to die so bad? What's so wrong with the Lord? The Lord promotes health. The laws promote health and well-being. What's so wrong with health and well-being? But you dumbass people want to go get some fried, uh, some fried, uh, already cooked chicken, and you want to put it in the fryer again and some grease again, man. What's what's wrong with the Lord, man? You want to keep on eating pork and uh, all this shit that's uh, that's that's tearing your body up, man. McDonald's, fucking uh. Mountain Dews and, and, and all these things, man. Twinkies and all these bullshits, man. Keep on just eating and eating. Everybody overweight and the whole house overweight. Walking around, boom, boom, boom. 
sitting on that damn uh you sit you you basically sit sit in the middle of the road and wait for the motherfucking uh Mack truck to hit you man oh it's okay i'm sitting i'm i'm gonna listen to this future right quick i'm gonna listen to this future he gonna put these spells on me i'm gonna smoke this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna smoke this and i'm gonna get high off this crack and i'm gonna hit this right here this this all this methamphetamines and all this bullshit man why should you die o house of israel why you want to die so bad man why you want to die so bad? You ain't changed one fucking thing, man. And a lot of us got family members, and they know we don't eat pork, and they know we don't do anything like that, and they'll still try to make us, man. Oh, I'll just eat it this time. No, no, you don't understand. I don't want to die, but you do. I'm not like you. It says, Proverbs, it says, let me hit one more. This is 24. Let me read the next one, 23. It says, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23, and it says, turn you at my reproof. And what's the Lord's reproof? He's trying to tell you, he's trying to send scourges for amendment, and you still don't want to listen, man. He said, turn you at my reproof. It's lucky. Turn you at my reproof. Listen to, my, listen to my brothers that I got on their highways and hedges. Listen to them, man. They ain't out there looking for looking like fools for nothing. They doing that for me. They trying to wake your ass up, but you don't want to wake up, man. You don't want to wake up. You want to be an idiot all your life, man, which is going to kill you, and it's going to kill you and your children. You're going to talk about some damn family reunion. At a time like this, uh, first thing I thought about is the book of Ecclesiastes, man. It's a time for everything. Right now, ain't no time to be partying, man. It ain't no time to be going to no huge 100 people found reunion, man. These little kids got guns, little 12-year-old, 10-year-olds, and they shooting shit up. You might just get hit. They, they, ain't, they ain't aiming at you. You might get hit. The babies might get hit. Little kids, everything might get hit, man. But you want to go anyway. You want to keep playing and keep partying and keep bullshitting all the time family reunion. I ain't got no motherfucking family. Only family I got is these brothers on these epistles that's giving their heart and doing their due diligence to make their call in an election. Sure. That's the only brothers I got. This is Psalm. This is uh, Proverbs 23. Turn you. Salakia. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour up my spirit upon you and I will make known my words unto you because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth, man. No man regardeth. How's the Lord stretching out his hand? He's trying to show you through scourges, through amendment. He's trying to show you through, through different brothers and stuff telling you dreams telling you things i've told people these dreams that i've had and they came to life i had a dream about my sister that she died and then she died then i had a dream about my little nephew before he died and, and i told people then he died so these dreams these dreams that the lord is pulling up on this earth they are coming to life too man the lord is trying to what's that song god is trying to tell you something he's trying to tell you something he's trying to tell you something but if you don't listen then how are you going to be saved? Why should you die, O house of Israel, man? Why should you die? This is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. I'll, I'll, start at, I'll start at 5. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. And how do you get wisdom and you get understanding? You open the scriptures. Or you seek knowledge, you, you, you search it, you're like, all right, what this mean? What's this mean? What does this mean? When is this going to happen? You ask questions. You really pray to the Lord. You really, really, really pray to him, man, and give your heart to him. You ask him, you ask him, show me, Lord. Show me when I'm wrong. Show me whenever I'm doing something that you don't like. Show me what I got to do to change it. What do I have to do to be saved, man? That's how you get it, man. What do I have to, I see these things happening. I see this happening. I see war going on over here. Is that coming over here, Lord? What do I got to do to prepare for it? 
What do I gotta do to get me and my household ready to not be hit with these damn missiles? Because they're coming, man. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. And what's the words of the Lord's mouth? This, these scriptures, these law, statutes, commandments, man. The holy scriptures, man. These are the words of the Lord. The Lord said, uh, search the scriptures. It is written of me. Direct words from the Lord, man. Get wisdom and get understanding, right? It says, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not. Who is her? Wisdom. And she shall preserve thee. Love her. Who's her? Wisdom. And she shall keep thee. Our people don't love wisdom. All they love is themselves. Their Instagrams. That's that's a form of uh, uh, self-worship. You worship yourself. Putting all these pictures up and shit. I remember when Facebook first came out back in the day. I knew that shit was weird, man. I was like, hold up, man. Everybody's doing this. I'm like, the same people I went to school with, all of a sudden, they're like, this top dog on Facebook and these motherfuckers in real life, I'm going around them and they, they, they're, they're nothing like they are on Facebook. It's a bunch of fake shit, man. Fake book. That's what it's called. Everything, everything since Facebook came out, since, since all this stuff started happening, the whole world is changing to be fake. You got fake booties, fake titties on these women, fake hair. Our women wear blonde wigs, fake ass hair. You slap the piss out of that bitch. Blonde wig, go all the way down, down somewhere else. Forgive me, Lord. You know? Fake everything. Everything's fake in this motherfucker, man. That's why we look for a new heavens and a new earth, man. Why should you die, O house of Israel? Why don't you want to read the scriptures? Why don't you want to save your children? Why do you have a mindset of, oh, not in my lifetime? Why don't you care about your kids? Verse 7, this is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. With all thy getting, get understanding. Don't be telling me that 1 plus 1 is 11, man. Go into things. Look things up. Research things yourself. Try different foods. Don't be eating all that greasy shit all the time. Don't want to, don't you want to, don't you want to live? Don't you want to live to see your kids get older? Oh, not in my lifetime. Oh, not in my... You don't even care about your kids. You don't care about yourself. You disrespect yourself. You disrespect your, your kids. You people are through on this earth, man. You're through people. And these are the days we living in, man. Let me hit this real quick. Let me hit this real quick, because I got to hit it. This is Job chapter, chapter 9, verse 24, and it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, man. And the reason I'm going into this, because you niggas want to die so bad, you don't even know who your enemy is, man. There's militias in the, uh, the woods right now. They praying for the day that, that, that the government uh, shut down so they can come and get you niggas, man. You black slide, they coming for you niggas, man. And if you ain't got no shield of the Lord, your dumb guns, your AKs and, and all this shit. No, you, that's Esau. That's the white man. Let, he, the one that, he the one that run that shit. You niggas don't know how to shoot nothing, man. You constantly shooting up little kids and shit. You don't know how to aim. <laughs> you sit there and you keep on shooting and you, you, you running past and shot an old lady up and shot three kids up and didn't even hit the fucking target, man. But Esau, Edom, white man, he'd come in there and stand in that. He'd stand in that fire and shoot your ass, man. Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not doing it like him, man. He out in the woods right now. And you niggas out here killing each other up, man. And they're sitting back, uh, Ku Klux Klan sitting back watching you and laughing your dumb ass to scorn, man. Ha <laughs> ha! They teeth hanging out and shit. They laughing like a motherfucker, man. Kill each other, kill each other. Because when we come in, yeah. It'd be easier. And the Lord gonna let them come in because you dumbasses, man. 
It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he, man? This person, man, Esau Edom, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. So when you go to jail, who you got a white man judge, right? When you, when, when you go to work, who your CEOs and who your bosses? When you got to do an interview, who's interviewing you? Checking you out. Esau Edom. Had somebody tell me, who, who is Esau Edom? Man. Hey, this, this world about to, hey, this stuff is about to happen in this world. And, 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 and y'all ain't going to be ready, man. It says, this is, uh, let me go to Matthew chapter 24. This is Matthew chapter 24. And since you don't know who you don't, you don't know who your power is, and you don't know who your enemy is, so you're in the middle. You all these other nations uh, know that we the Israelites, but you dumb niggas don't even want to look things up. You don't want to go to the library. You don't want to read nothing. You don't want to do nothing, man. You steady on Sawnetta TV, worshiping uh, Egyptian. Uh, what's that dude with the little hair thing on the side, man? That's some weak shit, man. Our forefathers would have smacked the fuck out that nigga, man. Slapped the piss out of that, that motherfucking thing would have flew off of him. King David would have seen some shit like that on one of our men. He slapped the fucking piss out of that nigga, man. And that's what kind of spirit we in. We in that King David spirit, man. And we hate everything that hates our Lord. And we starting to hate you niggas, man. Because you, we can tell you dumb niggas hate the Lord, man. Matter of fact, let me get that, man. Hey, the spirit taking me other places, man. What's that? Man, spirit's moving, man. Then I'll get out of here. Yeah, man, we hate everything, man. We hate all that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We, we That fucking Egyptian shit, all the Islam shit, all this bullshit, man. Lord's gonna fuck you people up for this stuff, man. You think it's a joke. You keep thinking the Lord's a game, man. Keep thinking the keep thinking the Lord the game. Keep thinking the Lord the game, man. What King David said? Is it, well, yeah. There's the Psalms, chapter one thirty nine. Yeah, man. It says, verse nineteen. It says, surely thou shalt, surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me. Ye bloody men, and all you people that worship these different gods, man, you know, especially you blacks, Latino, Native Americans that don't know your power, man, be ready, man, because of the Lord, if the Lord turn us up in that day, when we get them powers, man, it's going to be over for you, man. You know, like I said, that Egyptian dude, whatever the fuck his name is, to be on Sarnetta, Sarnetta, all of them, man, we coming for y'all niggas, man. We coming for you niggas, man, because you, you leading the flock into the wrong direction, man. You know, we coming for you. And I, I want to, damn, that's a bald eagle right over my head. Look at Esau. He probably got a drone, a real eagle right over my motherfucking head, man. Eagle's supposed to be damn near extinct. <laughs> that's a real eagle just flew over. That's spiritual, man. Yeah, they watching us. That's, they watching us. And, and, what you gonna, you gonna do this and uh, put a tape over it? Nigga, keep on seeing us, man. I'm ready for y'all to come in like a flood, man. Lord willing, in that day we ready, you know what I'm saying? Built up spirit good enough. We're going to fly. We're going to fly. We're going to blow fire out of our hands, man. We've dreamed about it, man. And like I said, when I get that power, I'm going to pop up on you motherfuckers, man. Like the elder Kazakh say, I'm going to pop up on you just to, just to show you I got that power. But I ain't going to be just showing you. I'm going to disintegrate your ass when I pop up. And then I'm going to bring you back to life and disintegrate you again. And, and your whole life just going to be working and getting disintegrated. And then you ain't going to be able to die. We're going to bring your ass back and fuck you up again, man. I'm going to take you to Kazakh's house and say, hey, you, you want to fuck this nigga up today? We're going to take Bill Gates over there. You want to fuck him up today? You can have him today. But I'm coming in the morning. I'm knocking on the door, bringing his ass back and fucking him up some more, man. Then we're going to take you to the other elder's house. Take Bill Gates to uh, el the other elder. Let's take him to his house. Let's fuck him up over here today. We're going to be tearing you people up, man. Lord willing, you know, shlock rayam to you devils, man. Shlock rayam to you devils, man.
This is what King David said. Psalms 139 and 19. Surely thou shalt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, ye bloody men. For they seek, for they speak against thee wickedly. Because these people speak against our Lord wickedly, man. They try to play God. The other, the other day, there was a, a, this dude that's trying to bring in this new world order and all this shit. They try, oh, you don't need uh, Yahweh Shai to uh, have eternal life. What you mean, man? Don't you know Yahweh Shai is listening? <laughs> Him that made the ear, can he not hear? <laughs> Him that made the eyes, can he not see? So these things are happening in the earth, man. These things are picking up, man. You know why? Because the Lord about to come and destroy shit, man. Y'all need to be afraid. Be very afraid, man. It says... For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. What's the Lord's name? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai? Yeah, you take his name in vain, man. You say that he can't do this. I'm better at this. I can make a woman like this if I want. A woman, uh, when she come out, uh, if she if she don't got a, a penis on her, we can put a penis on her. It doesn't matter. She can be a girl. If she He can be a girl if she he, he wants, or she can be a boy if he wants. Whatever, man. Whatever, whatever. She, he, her, all this other shit, man. Lord ain't with all that, man. He's going to come and destroy that shit. It says, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Yeah, we hate every foul thing, man. Everything. We hate you people, man. And hate is a strong word. It says, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Because everybody that goes against the Lord, man, we ready to... What was that, uh... <laughs> like, uh... When Yahweh Shai was, what, what, what was that? Uh, the, the the brother, the brother, uh, he was about to get taken and shit, and the brother pulled the sword out. <laughs> brother pulled the sword out, took that took that nigga ear off, bro. <laughs> Yahweh Shai got mad at him, bro. But we ready to fight for Yahweh Shai, man. You know who will rise up against the evildoers, man? Psalms ninety four and sixteen it says, "Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? We will, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah." Like the elder Manasazak said, man, when he said that, boy, I got some hype. I almost jumped through the ceiling, boy. I said, yeah, we will, Lord. We will. It says, Psalms 94, and I go back. Verse 16, it says, who will rise up against, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? And who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, man? We will, Lord. We will, Lord. Me, me, me. Ah, ah, ah. I can't be quiet, Lord. I can't be quiet. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Yeah, man. Yeah, we gonna rise up. We gonna rise up for the Lord against the evildoers, man. Cause you motherfuckers deserve to die. Yeah, yeah, I said it. And I said it proud too. Psalms 139. And I read it again. Verse 21. And it says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies, man. Why should you die, O Israel? We, you gonna see us, man. Why should you die? You, you keep taking the Lord for a joke. You keep taking the Lord for a joke, but he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna quit knocking. He knocking right now. Doom, 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 doom. You know, he gave you a dream the other night. That was him knocking. You almost got into a horrible car wreck. You just, you, you just barely, you barely, you barely, you barely made it. That was the Lord knocking. He knocking. No, you got you, you you got jumped the other night by a bunch of people because you was all drunk and loaded. That's the Lord knocking. Boom, 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 boom. Sooner or later he gonna say, boom, 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 kicking that door. Like those cops did uh that one dude, he was laying on his couch not too long ago, man. He was laying on the couch in a dream, man. And they and as soon as he he he, he take the cover up, they shooting his ass up because he had a gun right there. That's how the Lord gonna come, man. And that's judgment, man. And that was the Lord knocking. He was knocking on that young man's life. He was knocking. He kept knocking. Lord knocks through different things. He knocks through people telling you certain things. He knocks through uh, certain dreams that you have. He knocks through certain things that happen. He's always knocking. He wants to save your life. But if you don't want to have your life saved, why the fuck would he want to save your life? Hopefully this message was edifying. Shalom.